A new national suicide hotline is launching on Saturday. A call or text to 988 will connect callers to trained professionals ready to help. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams has an in-depth look at how this new number could reach more people than ever. Three simple numbers, 988, will soon make suicide prevention efforts only a call or text away. When somebody is in that heightened emotional state, to be able to have something that's just easy to remember like that, so, you know, versus an 800 number, an 800-273-TALK, 988 is much easier to remember. The FCC dedicated 988 as the new suicide prevention hotline in summer of 2020. Nationwide, the number launches on Saturday. Crisis Center of Tampa Bay Senior Director of Marketing and Public Relations Ken Gibson says they'll take over the calls the same as always. We've already answered the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and we've done that for a number of years. So in a sense, 988 is nothing new. We're already accustomed to taking suicide calls. The first three months of 2022 in Florida, 24,600 calls came in. In Hillsborough County, a lower week in terms of number of, of calls might be, you know, 50, and then um, on a higher week it might be 100 calls. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline says Florida saw a 61% increase in calls from 2016 to 2020. Of those calls, 78% were answered in state. The rest routed to centers in other parts of the country mostly due to a lack of resources in more rural parts of the state, according to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Now the number of calls is expected to rise nationally and locally once 988 officially launches, prompting growth at Hillsborough's call center. So we're actually uh, recruiting for more people to work in the contact center, um, and that does take some time to, to get somebody to the point where they're ready to take a suicide call. Um, but uh, we have ongoing recruitment and training in place. In Tampa, Jada Williams. ABC Action News.